and today we're going to walk through how to connect your iFarm cart to your iPad for the first time. It's pretty simple, but uh, let's just go through the steps to make it happen. This is your iFarm cart unit. This replaces your scale head if you have an existing scale head now. Um, if you bought the grain cart from JM with the iFarm installed on it, it'll already be bolted onto the front wall of your grain cart um, and a power cable will be applied as well. So basically plug in your seven pin light harness into the back of your tractor, turn your key on and you got 12 volt power. All you have to do is download the app and pair. For people who are adding this after the fact to their grain cart, um, what we're gonna do here is basically same thing, bolt this to the front of your grain cart um, anywhere is good as long as it's uh, in an accessible position. We like to put it on the front leg of our grain cart real close to our safety decals. But as long as you can get a clear signal from this unit, just be within 150 feet um, with no metal obstacles in between, uh, you'll get a good signal and you won't have any problems. So what we're first going to do is plug in the cable that comes out of our junction box. Um, this is the cable that sums all the scale bars together and then provides one four pin cable to plug in. If you have a five pin cable, you will need to replace the one coming from your junction box with a four pin one. Um, if you need help with that, you can contact your local dealership or give us a call here at JM, and I'd be happy to uh, tell you what cable you need. But we're gonna plug this in. This is just my scale bar simulator. Mm -hmm. And make sure it locks until you hear it click. All right. If you don't use the power cable, make sure you put this cap on. It keeps water from getting inside this box. That is about the only time I've ever had an iFarm issue is when water gets inside this box. And it can happen one of two ways. One, either putting the not having the cap on, or two, over tightening this lid and it damages the seal around here. So when you take off the lid to check, take a look at the battery and you put the lid back on, just don't over tighten it. As far as that goes, I have the battery already installed. Um, and we should be good to go. So I'm going to move this off to the side and then we're going to bring the iPad in. Now I'm going to download the app for you. I'm stuck in landscape mode. So I've searched for the JM iFarm in the Apple App Store. And the, one, the version we want is the iFarm cart. It's over here. So we're going to hit the little download button. Mine looks a little different because I've already downloaded it before on this iPad. Now I'm just re-downloading it to show you, but yours would say get. So we'll hit that. We're downloading it. It's not a very big file. Um, and then we can open it. Now, a couple things will pop up. It's going to ask me permission to do stuff on my iPad. Um, first one is, would you like to use Bluetooth? Yes. iFarm communicates with Bluetooth. So we hit OK. It's going to ask if you want to use the location. Um, basically, every single time you unload, it takes the GPS information off this iPad and attaches it to the unload. So we will want to allow it. So we're going to hit allow while using app. And now it's telling me I have no devices paired. That's okay. That's what we're here for. So we hit okay. We're going to go over to the settings page. So we pair the iFarm in the settings of the iFarm app, not in the operating system of the iPad. Hit settings. Now, top left-hand corner, hit the plus button. It's gonna search for all the iFarms in the area and it's gonna to connect to the closest one. Obviously, this one is the closest one. All right, pairing results successfully prepared to device. We're gonna hit okay. We're gonna give this thing a name. I'm gonna call it iFarm Demo. We're gonna leave display rounding at 20. That means it shows 20 pound increments. Uh, we're going to leave unload detection on. That allows me to automatically detect when I'm unloading and save it. A big feature of the iFarm cart. Um, minimum load, we're not going to change that. A thousand pounds is a sweet spot. And if you change that, you might get um, a lot of missed loads or you might get too many undesired loads. So we're going to leave that at a thousand pounds. Smoothing, I'm going to leave this off for now. Smoothing is something only for the display. Basically, when you're running through the field, it doesn't show the plus and minus fluctuations of about 10,000 pounds. So we're going to leave smoothing off for now just for demonstration purposes. Hit done. And now we have a paired device down there. If you need to delete a paired device, swipe to the left and then the delete box pops up. But we're not going to. If you need to go back and change any of those settings, hit this I button and that allows you to change 
any previous done setting. So we hit done. Go back to the display page, and now we have live weight.